everybody, uh, Mr. Smith here again. Um, this video is for Friday, October 18th. Um, I will be absent. I will be in Texas uh, visiting my buddy. Um, so it is supposed to be a synchronous day, but because I am not here, there's going to be nobody to run class synchronously. Um, so it is going to be an independent learning day. Um, we're going to keep moving forward, though. Um, so, you know, on uh, Wednesday... We completed the synchronous learning lab. We went through the functions lab together. So we're going to go ahead and move on and we're going to look at lists now. Um, so what I want you to do is there is a PowerPoint here um, and there's also guided notes. Um, big thing is I just want you all to take a look at the PowerPoint first and I'm going to kind of go through uh, some of this with you. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what lists are. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, so we're going to look at representing a list or a string using a variable. We're going to talk about data abstraction, which basically means how you um, store multiple elements uh, to represent like real world um, storing of data. Um, and we're going to talk about list operations. So once you have that data stored, how do you, you know, actually use operations to do stuff with it? All right. So what is a list, right? A list is just like in the real world. It is the sense of what a list is. All right. So it, it it's just it's something that holds a series of data, um, series of information. Um, in Python, they're called containers. Um, so think about them like filing cabinets, or I like to think about them as train cars. Also, you know, you got your big train with all the different uh, containers on the train. Um, the three most common types of containers are lists, tuples, and dictionaries. All right. <clears throat> a list is a container that stores objects in a specific order. A list is mutable, meaning you can add or remove objects. All right. So you can edit a list. You can add stuff to it or remove stuff to it. All right. So a tuple is a container that is immutable. All right. This means once you create it, you cannot change its contents. Um, so if you're wanting to create something that holds data that is unchangeable, you would use a tuple. All right. Um, so stuff that's never going to change. Um, we'll look at some examples in a minute. All right. A dictionary is a container that uses one object called a key and links it to another value called a value. All right. So it links an object to another. All right. <clears throat> and when it does that, <clears throat> it is called mapping. So when it links the object using the key to a value, it's called mapping. Um, you use the key to look up where the value is. Dictionaries are mutable, but the objects are not stored in a specific order, right? Because they're being mapped around. So let. So we're going to be looking specifically at a list in this. Like we're going to look at lists, and we're going to look at list methods today. All right, and then we'll get into the other stuff. So how do we use a list? List store items in order. So the way that you create an empty list is you would just give it a name, then say equals and have the square bracket. All right. If you want to create a list and put values in it, same thing. You'd give it a name, then equals, then you would put values in it. So here you can see an empty one. Here you can see um, a list being created with, uh, all right, with uh, values in it. Oliver, Luna, and Milo are put into cat names. So list store items in order. Each item has its own index. Okay, index refers to the position. So Oliver is at a position, Luna's at a position, and Milo's at a position. In programming, most programming languages start at index zero. All right, so Java is index zero. Python is also index zero. So Oliver's in the first place here but its index or its position is actually zero. We start at zero. So Oliver's zero, Luna's one, Milo's two. All right, the expression accesses the item at the index of the list. So basically, if we say cat names is the name of our list, and in our square brackets, we put zero here, it's gonna pull out Oliver. If we put a two in the bracket, it's going to pull out Milo because Milo is what is actually at that position. All right, so this would print Oliver and Milo. Lists are not limited in type of data they could store. Um, so yeah, you don't have to um, 
you don't have to just keep one type of data. All right, so if I have random values as the name of my list, I don't have to put all in integers in there, or I don't have to put all doubles, or I don't have to put all strings or all booleans. It can be a mixture. So here we have a boolean, we have an int, we have a string and a double. All right, you. This is unlike other programming languages, but in Python you can mix the value types. All right, so this will actually print true, 50, hello, and 2.5. So let's talk about some of the methods you can use in a list. Um, so we have commands similar to a function. Um, so these are built into the list. Uh, so let's, let's go through these. So we're going to add an element to the end of the list. So that's what append does here. So if I have a list called farm, and farm has horse stored in it, right? The list is just made up of one item, horse. If I do farm.append dog, it's going to add a dog to the list. If I do farm.append sheep, it's going to add a sheep. All right. So at that point, we have horse, and then we have horse dog, and then we have horse dog sheep. So we're just adding one to our list. We also have a method that you can use on lists or an operation that is called insert. Uh, it inserts an element into the list at a specific spot. All right. So here we have farm. There is a hen, duck, and a goat in the farm. I want to now insert cow at position 2. So hen is at 0, duck is at 1, goat is at 2. So cow would go in and become 2, which is going to push goat. All right. So hen, duck, goat. Then I insert cow where goat was, so goat moves over. And then I want cat to go in at four, so hens at zero, ducks at one, cows at two, goats at three, so cat will go after goat. All right, it goes into position four. All right, so remove removes the last element in the list. All right, so the way we do it is it's called dot pop. So pop is remove. All right, so if I say list name dot pop at an index, it'll remove it from a specific spot. All right, so if you don't put an index in, it removes it from the end. So let's look at the example here, right? We have farm, which has hen, cow, duck, goat, sheep, cat. If I do farm dot pop with no number in the parentheses, it means it's no index. So that is just going to remove the last thing. So that'll remove cat. All right, so then we start with hen, cow, duck, goat, sheep, cat. If we call our pop, cat gets removed. Now we're going to pop it to. Remember, we start at zero. So hen is zero, cow is one, duck is two. So it's going to remove duck. So now we have hen, cow, goat, sheep. Um, if we want to store something, so we can do a variable equals and then pop off two. So zero, one, two, goat is now at two. So it's going to pop it off and store it into removed. And then if we print removed, it's going to actually print goat because that's what we popped off. All right. All right. Uh, so our next method here is length. Um, so it will give us the current length of the list. So for example, hen, cow, duck, goat, sheep, cat, there are six values in there. So this print length of farm will give us the length of our list and it should give us six. But then we call pop, right? So we're removing cat. So then it gives us five. Then we call pop again. This time we're removing position two, zero, one, two, which is duck. So that's going to give us four. All right. So what is stored in these after the code is executed? So colors, we have green, white, orange. We're going to append yellow. So that means we're going to add yellow to the end. So we have green, white, orange, yellow, then purple. So green, white, orange, yellow, purple. But then we're going to pop off position one. So that would be white. White's gone. And then we're going to, so then we have green, orange, yellow, purple, right? So I'm going to catch up green, orange, yellow, purple. Then we pop off position one. Green's at zero. White is at one. So pop off white. So then it's gone. And then finally, we're going to insert black at two, zero, one, two. So where the yellow is, black goes in. So yellow just gets pushed. All right. Um, and then there's more examples. You can kind of go through these on your own. Um, same thing here. All these are just lists. Uh, more examples here. All right. So I will let you look through these on your own. So that way you can get a better understanding. All right. 
So once you feel good about that, guys, again, I'm not there today, um, but once you've gone through that PowerPoint, watch this video and feel pretty good about that, um, I do have an assignment called List Practice here. I want you to pull that up, and it is a Microsoft Word document. Um, I'm not going to be able to kind of go through it with you yet because it's not live, um, but I want you to work through this and do the best you can. <coughs> when I return on Wednesday... Um, we will go through this together, um, but I expect everybody to go through and give it your best shot, right? It's only seven questions, okay? So go through, attempt these based off that PowerPoint in this video, all right? Give it your best, best shot, and then I will, uh, when I get back, we'll kind of go through it and double check everybody's answers, all right? As always, guys, stay safe. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.